Hello people of the internet, my name is CJ, and as you can see here, I've got a bit of an art project. So a few weeks ago, I thought it might be fun to try and construct a Revolutionary War British Light Infantry cap, and this is the result of that project. Um, as you may know, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, um, I am a member of the uh, Colonel's Company, the Battalion Company of His Majesty's 10th Regiment of Foot. Um, but I do also think the Light Infantry of the American Revolution were very interesting, and I think their caps look pretty cool, uh, even though they do uh, look uncomfortable, and now I know from personal experience they are uncomfortable, um, they still look pretty cool, so I thought it would be fun to make one. Um, this one is probably, uh, very historically inaccurate in, uh, probably every way imaginable, um, but it costs only about $10 to make, maybe a little more, um, so I think it was worth it, and it was a fun little project to work on. Basically, I made this, uh, from some, uh, cheap leather that, um, was at my local fabric store, and um, I sewed it together with uh, some linen thread that was left over from a previous sewing project. Uh, if you wanna know more about that previous sewing project, um, I have another video about that. Um, it's my uh, purple jacket for my civilian kit, which there is another video about. Um, and then on the little front thing, um, I have painted the letters GR for um, King George, that is the initials for King George in Latin. Um, yeah, I think this was a pretty fun project to work on. Um, even though, yeah, I think it's probably very Farby. Um, it's still been pretty fun. And yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Hark now the drums beat off again For old true soldier, gentleman Then let us list and march, I say Over the hills and far away 